Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? It's the King of Games 98. And uh I have a, another new video game pickups video, which I know I don't do that often, but I usually try to do I usually try to make these videos when it's special and significant, and I thought this occasion was definitely that. Okay guys, so earlier so earlier this week I was in the Lancaster area and I visited the video game store Just Press Play in the Lancaster Shopping Center. Oh my god, that was my that was the first time I'd ever been in that store and wow, what an experience I had. The staff were very friendly and nice, the manager that I actually met and got to talk to uh, as soon as I walked in was blown away that uh, I was from South Jersey and was happened to be in the area and stopped in the store and that was actually my first time ever in the store. But he was so nice and welcoming and, you know, was very helpful if I needed anything. Super duper Amazing, grateful, helpful staff. I really can't say enough good about them. Um, and my God, the that just press play video game store itself was incredible. The store itself, oh my God, I I took a picture of the outside, and that is going to be the thumbnail for this video. But really. Me describing it to you does not do it justice. The inside of the store was amazing. All around the top uh, of the store, uh, all around the top part of the store on shelving units was video game, uh, was video game console boxes, video game boxes, uh, collector's editions of video games, all memorabilia. It was really like a video game museum and for me as a video gamer and a video game collector that was just amazing to walk into this store and to just look around the room a couple times and just admire all the cool stuff that was sitting in this store um yeah uh so believe it or not though just the, the Just Press Play store was not just a video game store. They sold video games, video game systems, uh, movies on DVD. Uh, they had a whole anime section. And they even had a vinyl section. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So I really wouldn't call them just a video game store, but it was still, nonetheless... Well... Now, I guess I can't say that I wouldn't just call them a video game store because that is primarily what they were, what they were a video game store, and that's primarily what they had for sale in the store. Anyway, that's besides the point. So, why are these three specific games, random games, in front of me right here? Well, believe it or not, uh, these are my video game pickups from the just Pl from just from just press play. Now, I know what you're thinking, you know, wow, DeKing, you only bought three games? Why? Or, you know, you got Sonic Colors? Why? Or, oh, you got Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm? Why? Well, okay, so I'm going to get into real briefly why I bought all three of these games, and then hopefully the significance will make sense, and thus forth will make this will make this video a cool pickups video and hopefully we'll get more um publicity to just press play because they deserve all of it and everyone's business seriously cannot say enough good about them okay so first things first i'm going to start off with sonic colors so i bought this clean complete in box copy of sonic colors for the wii uh, and if you're wondering why I bought Sonic Colors, well, um, number one, I'm a huge Sega fanboy, and number two, I love Sonic, as I'm sure you could imagine being a Sega fanboy. Uh, number three, I actually didn't own a copy of this Sonic game, if you can believe it or not, Sonic Colors. So, um, 
Uh, while I was looking in the Wii games section at Just Press Play, I found this bad boy, and it was only se and it was only seven dollars ninety nine cents. So it was only eight dollars. So I thought, what the heck, you know? Uh, my one friend uh, said this was a pretty good game, and uh, just judging by it, I think it looks really good. And what I absolutely love is there's three different t uh, is that there's three different kinds of controllers blah, 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 that you can use to play this game: a uh, regular Wii Remote and Nunchuck, a classic controller, and a Nintendo GameCube controller. Love, love that. Uh, yeah, so for eight bucks, I figured Sonic Colors. Why not? I didn't have it. It was one Sonic game I didn't own. So yeah. Okay, next game. Uh, this is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm One for PlayStation for PlayStation Three, the limited collector's edition Steelbook edition. Okay, so uh, you're probably questioning. Uh, so right now you're probably questioning me, and you're probably questioning yourself as to why did he get Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm One when recently Bandai Namco just came out with the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm trilogy. Well, I literally own every single Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm game, except this one. And for PlayStation 3, might I add. So, when I saw this, this was a pretty much no-brainer too. Uh, I literally was just missing Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 1 for PlayStation 3. And the fact that this is the limited edition Steelbook Collector's Edition, which I've never seen before, I liked it even more. And I like the price, especially. The price of this game was $8.99, so $9. So I, so I figured, you know, for $9, what the heck. So this is the Steelbook, Naruto on the front, Sasuke on the back. Let me open it up. There's the instruction manual. Uh, the back disc is the game disc, and this is the limited edition bonus uh, CD soundtrack, which I think is very cool. Um, yeah. And... Uh, those are you, and those of you who have been following my channel and you know watch my videos and you know especially my video game review vi videos will know that I really enjoy and love the Naruto Ultimate Ninja video game series. So again, that was a no-brainer to me. Now uh, we go to my third and final game that I bought from just plus from just press play. Excuse me. <laughs> and that is a whole new world for PlayStation 4 and this is a limited run game and in case you can't tell it is brand new factory sealed in the shrink wrap with uh, just press plays uh, price tag so um, why did I buy a whole new world for PS4 well um, I was pretty blown away and surprised that in the one glass counter, uh, Just Press Play had some limited run games for different consoles in this one uh, glass counter. I was really blown away and surprised by that. This was one of the games, and immediately when I took one look at the front cover, it reminded me of the Castlevania cover art for NES. So then that got me curious, and so then I went on the YouTube and looked up gameplay of this game, because, gotta be honest with you guys, I have never heard of this game before. So, you know, me looking at the front cover art, thinking it's like Castlevania, but I want to make sure it is. Um, yep, there it is. Limited run number 250. Um, so I go on the YouTube, I look up gameplay, and sure as shit, this is a Castlevania-inspired and plays-like game. So I was like, wow, you know, that looks pretty cool. And the fact that it's a limited run game for PS4... You know, I was like, that's also really cool. So, I bought it. And, yep, that was how much the game was. Uh, they wanted... They uh, they had $29.99 on this game. And so I paid that. I paid 30 bucks for this game. Um, yeah, so these are... Uh, so these three games are my video game pickups from Just Press Play. And you know what? I am absolutely 100% happy and very glad I bought 
all three of these games. And now again, I'm sure any of you guys who are watching this video are probably, you know, thinking to yourself, Sonic Colors, you know, who cares? It's not worth anything. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, you know, who cares? It's not really worth anything either. But the steel but the limited edition steelbook collector's edition is cool. And then a whole new world limited run game for PS4. That's I'm going to tell you guys right now, that that game right there is probably the most valuable of the three. <laughs> but, you know, for me in particular, I had those reasons and more in my mind as to why I bought these three specific games. And so, yeah. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you did enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, please let me know if you've ever visited and or been to a just press play store um before and if you have what did you think of the place did you like it as much as i did you know what uh what cool games if if you have gone there what cool games have you found and or bought from there before all right guys see you next time